arcade quality graphics and gameplay to home PCs had always seemed impossible. But as technology advanced, the first 3D accelerated graphics cards appeared, and as predicted, a gaming revolution began. Soon, all the latest 3D games offered support to the new cards, allowing them to look amazingly detailed without any reduction in the game's overall performance. Faster and better looking than their predecessors, games like Tomb Raider 2 and Quake 2 became instant classics. And now, a couple of years later, the first 3D FX2 cards have appeared. With improved technology, more memory and better drivers, the updated cards can produce graphics performance three times faster than the original cards. Based on the Voodoo 2 chipset, there are only a handful of different cards available at the moment. The two we tested were from Creative Labs and Orchid, both with a huge 12 megabytes of memory. Although prices vary, both cards produce the same basic level of gameplay, and noticing anything different between the two was virtually impossible. Can you spot any difference between these two versions of Unreal? Whichever one you choose, there are various programs that you can find to test its performance. These can be found on cover discs packaged with your card, or for a far wider range of programs on the internet. After running each test, they'll usually give you figures detailing your machine's 3D performance, results that will identify the few technical differences between each one. But whilst there's very little difference between the new cards, how does their performance rate against the first 3D accelerated models? Of course, the graphics quality is better and the games do run faster. But when you consider the vast price difference, you may want to keep your original for a while longer. These original cards have become essential components in any computer system. Firstly, because they offer better gameplay, and because many games are written for accelerated cards only. But as software runs perfectly well on both new and old cards, upgrading your computer isn't quite as important as before. At least not yet. The main reason to buy any of the new 3D cards, whether they're based on the Voodoo 2 or the forthcoming Power VR2 chipsets, is for future use. With the extra memory and improved technology, it won't be long before certain games become wholly dependent on the new cards. So, if you want to prepare yourself for the future, or simply want to play your favorite games at ridiculous speeds and high resolutions, then the new Voodoo 2 systems are definitely for you. Games just don't get much more stunning than this.